Hello there, farmers. My name is Ivan, the world's best chicken friend. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel, watching my videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, such that you don't miss out any video that I upload. Guess what today? Today I've come with a topic of selecting poultry breeding stock. Because in local chicken, if you, are, if you want to make your, your stock very large, you have to select good cocks and good hens so that you can expand your your stock, your farm, your local chicken farm. So let's go. All right, today I'm going to show you how to select good breeding stocks in hens and cocks. Because if you are to breed a certain character in your poultry, you have to be selective on what genes would you promote on your farm, what genes would, would you eliminate on your farm. Genetically, the genetics from the parents will be passed on to the chicks or the offsprings. As in parents, if a parent is, as in human beings, if a human being has good genetics, his or her genetics will be passed on to the offspring. So. The same applies in poultry. The genes of the cocks and the hens will be passed on to the offsprings. So if you select a poor genetic cock and a poor genetic hen, the genes will be passed on to the chicks and you'll be in a big loss. So to avoid this, these are the signs or the characteristics of your hens and your cocks they must have so that you have the best flock on in, in Uganda or at your area where you are. So Let's watch this. To effectively achieve the breeding goal, cocks and hens on your farm must be selected on merit. What do I mean on merit? That good cocks on your farm, good hens on your farm should be selected on your farm so that you can use them as the breeding stock on your farm such that you expand your farm. Because if you breed poor local cocks and hens, you increase the number of poor chicks on your farm and which will lead you into a loss. Remember, you are making a business from local poultry. So if you are making this poultry as your business, you should be selective on what cocks and what hens to use. So invest in on merit, invest on chicks and cocks and hens what you use on your farm. So these are the characteristics, all the signs and symptoms which you know that your cock or your hen is a good breeding stock which you use on your farm first of all free from body defects what do i mean free from body defects that your cock or your hen shouldn't be lame shouldn't be shouldn't have bow legs that when the legs are bored like this so if it's free from those it's a good breeding stock so you can use it on your farm you can use it to, to expand your poultry stock so another characteristic is breeder's health. What do I mean by breeder's health? Breeder's health, I mean that your cock or your hen should be free from any disease, cholera, typhoid, costiosis, any diseases, those diseases which attack the birds on the farm. So if your poultry has those diseases, it will affect the chicks because those diseases be transferred to the chicks which will affect them in the long run so your cocks and your hens should be free from all those diseases which are which attack hens on the farm another one we have good reproductive characteristics what do i mean by good reproductive characteristics here your here your hen should should be capable of laying fertile eggs big eggs um the cock should be should be very active yeah the cock should be very active every time when the hen is making that sound the cock should be there immediately trying to eat to mate with it so another thing is the age on your farm if you are to breed if you are to use your birds as the breeding sock they should they shouldn't be very old or they shouldn't be very young if they are very young they will lay eggs when they are infertile if you hatch them the eggs will not hatch as, as I messed up with that thing on my farm, I lost very many eggs. So, and the hen shouldn't be very old. If the hen is very old, it should, it should not, you will not lay good eggs, you will not lay fertile eggs because inside the, the reproductive system, it's very old. Another thing, and another thing on age, 
So if the hen is very old or the cock is very old, the cock will not give time to the to the hens when they when they want it when they want it. So to avoid that, select cocks and hens which which are not very old, which are not very young, so that you can achieve that goal of breeding of selecting breeding stock on your farm. Another characteristic is the good mothering ability. In local hens, there are some hens which have good ability of mothering and others don't have. Others are protective to their chicks, others do not. So, if you are to breed, to select a good breeding stock on your farm, the hens you select should be, should have a good mothering ability such that they can accept any chicks you give them which are not hers. Another thing, the hens on your farm should be accepted by the cocks. There are some cocks which which are selective on the hens when they avoid others and accept others. So to avoid that, you should make sure that on your farm you note what hen and what cock are, are on good terms, such that you can join them together, such that they can mate anytime, any anywhere, such that you increase on the hatchability of the eggs, egg production which are hatch which are fertile on your farm, such that you can achieve the goal of breeding sock on your farm the cocks on your farm must be strong that the cocks on your farm must be strong the cocks the cocks which you are going to use on your farm must be strong uh, when they are very strong that they are firm on the ground such so that they can avoid these hens this there are some hens which are very big than the cocks so you have you have to get a, a very big cock a very strong cock which you use as the father or the breeder on your farm Another thing, the poultry, the breeds which you are going to select must grow, must have a mature growth rate so that they reach the other stage where you want them to reach at a little time. Another thing, the cocks and the hens must be resistant to diseases. That any invasion of the disease on your farm, like a fall, 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 like flu, your cocks and hens must be resistant to the to that disease so that they will transfer that gene to the chicks <clears throat> they transfer that gene to the chicks so that the chicks in long run they will be resistant to the diseases as their parents did other characteristics of the acceptable body confirmation and feather color what do i mean here if you are to breed certain chicks on your farm you should you the farmer you should know that ah i want this color i want this body confirmation that he, there are some colors which are acceptable in the community like uh, on the weddings they mostly want that uh, cock which is red in color in uganda is called the uh, yalu jumba uh, and others like those black hens are used for certain rituals so you the breeder or you the poultry farmer you should know that i want this color on my farm i want this color which is acceptable in the area in the vicinity where i live Another characteristic is the good ability of feed conversion. That, that is your cock or your hen a good converter of feeds to meat and eggs. So if your cock and hen are good converters of meat or of feeds to eggs and meat or chicken, so you should consider of selecting those those cocks and hens to use as the to use them as the breeding stocks on your farm. Another characteristics we have the we have the early sexual maturity. Early sexual maturity, I mean that the cocks and the hens should be sexually active at a, a certain age. Like in hens, the hens should give you eggs at four and a half months or four months. And a good cock which you use on your farm as a, a breeder should should allow your cocks to make these hens at sometimes at seven months or at 80 months so that their sperms at that age are very active and if you allow them to breed they'll give you healthy chicks they'll give you good chicks and strong chicks which you, which you use them and expand your farm thank you for watching my videos at Wawiza we shall be showing you how to improve on local chickens how to put them back on the market to compete with the other exotic ones so watch out f for every video which comes along thank you thank you may god bless you